Do you believe women? Do I believe women? Yes, mm -hmm. I do believe women. So why is it then that your side, the pro-choice movement, the abortion industry completely neglects the voices of those who speak up against abortion because they felt betrayed and hurt by abortion? The women who stand at the Supreme Court with signs that say, I regret my abortion. Why don't you validate their voices and their experiences? Actually, I do val validate the voices of the women who have had abortions and who say that they have not experienced any mental health effects. Okay, so you so acknowledge that abortion hurts women? But that's a very small... Do you? Yes, there's a very... Thank but you. Here, here's Because abortion does hurt there's women a very, it's bad for their mental and physical health. You just agree. Okay, let me read you a, a source that I found from the American Psychological Association okay. that said that there's no mental health effects on women... So you're cool. saying every woman that steps forward and said, I was negatively affected by abortion, you're saying she's lying. Okay, so you don't believe the article that you just brought up to argue with. You just said you don't believe in that. So why are you using it as a source if you don't believe in but, that? But this research also shows that women being denied abortion affects them more. What was the reason? Why does that affect their mental health? Because it affected their entire life. And why is that? Because the abortion industry left them in the dust to make them believe that they aren't they aren't able to accomplish their hopes and dreams. Yes, because, because when women are denied abortions and then left in the dust by the abortion industry, I can imagine it being difficult because here's what the abortion industry offers. Abortion or you're on your own. That's probably why they struggled is because here's the thing, abortion is the only thing that Planned Parenthood cares about. They don't care if abortion is their only option. They don't care if women feel like abortion is their only option. They want them there. Because if women don't feel like that, they won't be walking through the doors of Planned Parenthood to get an abortion. They thrive off of women feeling vulnerable and alone because that is when they make money. So I guarantee you the reason why women struggle with mental health issues when they were denied abortions is because our country has framed pregnancy as such a negative thing that it's going to ruin your life. Well, what if we walked alongside those women? What if we supported them? What if we made sure that they were connected with life-saving resources, with financial aid, with childcare, with, with diapers, with formula? What would happen? happen then? If we lived in a country where we actually supported women who are pregnant and not put them into a corner to believe that they have to choose an abortion or the rest of their life goes out the window.